Hello, welcome to Bible TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How Liberia got independence. Liberia is Africa's oldest independent and democratic republic, with their independence dating back to about 170 years ago. Liberia was founded in 1822 by former slaves and some free-born blacks, that is, blacks born after the abolishment of slave trade in the United States with the sponsorship of American Colonization Society, ACS. The ACS was established in 1816 by Robert Finley and they were given the job of sending the freed slaves back to Africa instead of having them walk about and live as free people in the United States. The American Colonization Society made remarkable progress since their inception during what they were charged with. In fact, between 1822, when Liberia was founded and the American Civil War, they were able to take back about 90,000 American born blacks to Liberia. Liberia is the only African country that gained its independence by themselves without revolting any higher power or having to lead protests to oust any stronger authority like most African countries. The United Kingdom was the first country to recognize Liberia's independence. In fact, it was under pressure and with great influence from them that the United States hesitantly accepted Liberia's sovereignty and in doing so, making them the first democratic state. To make this legal and valid, a declaration of independence had to be issued in the form of a document and this document is called the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence was adopted by the Liberian Constitutional Convention on July 26, 1847 to announce that the Commonwealth of Liberia a colony founded and controlled by the private American Colonization Society was an independent state known as the Republic of Liberia. This declaration was written by Hilary Tig and adopted simultaneously with the first constitution of Liberia. The anniversary of this adoption and that of the constitution is what is celebrated in present times as Independence Day in Liberia. The first former U.S. slaves arrived at the British colony of Sierra Leone from the United States in 1820 and in 1821, the American Colonization Society founded the colony of Liberia, south of Sierra Leone, to serve as a new homeland for former slaves outside the British jurisdiction. And that is how Liberia got its location on the map. It seems like the whole process transpired flawlessly, but in fact, it wasn't that seamless. The American Colonization Society was attacked by the U.S. abolitionists who claimed that the removal of the free slaves from the US in fact strengthened the slavery institution as opposed to destroying it. Most of the Americans with African origins, the blacks born in America, were not happy about the idea of abandoning America for the harsh and unfamiliar West Africa. It might be their true home, but it was an unfamiliar one. In spite of this, between 1822 and the time of American Civil War, about 15,000 African Americans settled in Liberia. They were granted independence by the United States on July 26, 1847, and Liberia assisted Britain in its effort to put an end to the illegal West African slave trade. This was recognized officially by the US diplomatic recognition in 1862. Moronvia, the current capital of Liberia, was named in honor of James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States of America. Aside from naming the capital of their new republic after an American president, their government was also modeled after that of the United States. That makes sense because that is the closest example of running a country they had. Joseph Jenkins Roberts, who is an American-born native of Virginia, was elected the first African-American president of the newly found nation. By 1862, President Abraham Lincoln extended official diplomatic recognition to Liberia, his way of acknowledging Liberia as an equal diplomatic-wise. 23 of the presidents Liberia has had were American-born. The African-American colonizers created an American liberian governing board that was made up of the elite members and they recreated a two-sided society based on ethnicity and class. This system was not different from the system of racial segregation amongst the black and white that they had left behind in the United States. It was like leaving a racist society to forming another. They spoke English and established in Liberia many of the customs popular in America's southern states, including forms of social interaction, the way structures were built, religion, and even mode of dressing. As it was common among many Americans and Europeans then, the American Liberian also held beliefs that the Protestant Christianity was the right way to be a Christian. They also held the cultural power of European civilization over indigenous culture. Although these groups of elites were never more than 5% of the population of Liberia, they still managed to control key resources that allowed them to dominate indigenous Liberian people, such as access to higher level of education, the ocean, literacy, technical skills, and valuable relationships with many United States government institutions and other American organizations. 
after gaining the support of the United States. Liberia was able to keep and maintain their independence all through the turmoil that came in the 20th century. When Charles Taylor was elected the Liberian president in free elections, a civil war started in Liberia that claimed a lot of lives but also gained them another form of independence. What's your take on Liberia as an independent nation? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.